We, for a very long time, have thought that if we had found the secrets of DNA, we could find the secrets of life. We would be able to know exactly everything about that human being, because all the information should be encoded in the genome. It's the blueprint of life. Unfortunately, we still don't know exactly how those four letters combinations make everything that we see around us. So, DNA sequence, the genome, is not the whole answer. And chromosome 11 has helped us to understand that there is something else uh, besides the sequence of the bases on the DNA that is important for the expression of these genes. Now, if we think about what happens when a child is born, then you have one of these little arms that comes from the mother and one of these arms that comes from the father. They come together and they have in exactly the same positions exactly the same genes. We usually only, always have two copies of the same gene and for the most part they are always both working. But there are a few exceptions. One of them is chromosome 11. One needs to be on and the other needs to be off. And the mechanism that makes this copy silent is what interests me. It's called an epigenetic mechanism. It's a way by which the sequence of the DNA that is there, although intact, not changed, is just marked in a special way with what we call epigenetic marks. And those marks tell that sequence not to be red, not to be on. And that means that you can have exactly the same DNA in two cells, as we do, and the same sequence being expressed in one cell and not being expressed in another cell, making those two cells different, although they have exactly the same information, exactly the same blueprint. What creates this opportunity is what we call epigenetics. If you think about that, uh, the DNA, all the bases of the DNA as the letters in a book, uh, if you have just the letters, if you have no punctuation marks, no spaces between the words, you really don't know how to read that page. Without the emphasis, without the pauses when you read the text, you still cannot get the full meaning of what's going on. So epigenetics gives a layer of understanding, of interpretation of the underlying uh, genetic code or genome that we all have. In the case of chromosome 11, it's quite obvious that it is important to have the epigenetic marks in the right place at the right time because it gives you a very serious syndrome if you don't. So there are some examples that seem to show that the environment can affect epigenetic marks in a quite enduring and long-term way. One example is nutrition. So the abundance of food for a period of time can have a big influence in, certain ex in the expression of certain genes and that uh, is usually controlled by epigenetic marks. This can then stay as a memory of that event and they can be passed on to our children and probably to our children children as well. So chromosome 11 was uh, and is a very important tool still to study how these epigenetic modifications can actually control the expression of genes and the future will tell where this will take us.